kind of do everything right. Since their inception in the 1800s, these things have never gone out of style, and that's for good reason. They last forever, they're affordable, and they look great with pretty much everything. Because there's so many options for jeans out there though, it can be kind of hard to know where to start or where to go with what you already have. So to help you guys out, I'm going to break down the three C's of jeans being color, cut, and quality with the C. Roll the intro! Okay, so first up we have color and I'm just gonna preface this by saying that if you do not have a pair of light blue jeans Stop watching seriously stop go get some seriously You got to get some these things are like as classic and as versatile as it gets every person who wears clothes Sorry to all my nudists watching you got to have a pair of light blue jeans All right, so go stop the video go get some unless you promise to stay until the end when I tell you guys how to get the best prices for jeans and you can promise by smashing that like button and subscribing down below. All right, but seriously, I've worn this pair of Levi's 541 uh, Athletic Taper like a bajillion times. Um, I love the way this color works, especially with the white t-shirt. Like, it's just such a classic look. You gotta have some light blues. All right, so next up, we're gonna have indigo jeans or like a dark blue navy. I like these jeans for a number of reasons. I think they look really luxurious, really smart. I'd say try to avoid wearing them with black sometimes if it clashes. That's not a hard fast rule, but same with light blue jeans. You can kind of wear them with whatever and they're gonna look great because they're jeans. While I'm talking about these, I'm gonna also mention just like regular blue jeans, not like too dark or too light. These stand out a little more because the color is usually like a bit bolder, a little bit more strong. And because of that, I think they look great with the wider cut. I like wearing them with grays, browns, and off whites, but you guys know the deal at this point. Their jeans, wear them how you like. So next up, we got gray jeans, and I think these things are so underrated. I'm wearing them right now, filming this video, um, and this pair of Levi's 502 is probably my most worn pants after my light blue jeans. I especially love the ribbing along the thighs, which can come from the factory or happen naturally over time with wear. Uh, I think that these jeans look great with purple or green, especially I think that's a cool combo, it's what I'm wearing now. But you guys know the drill, they're jeans, wear them with anything, blah, blah, blah. All right, so black jeans are also a super solid pick that keeps outfits low key and look great with like black and grayscale outfits especially. So black is a color, it sort of narrows down whatever like part of the body is on. Um, and because of that, like the eye is drawn elsewhere on the body besides the, the area that's covered in black. So black jeans are a great option if you want to call attention to something else that you're wearing, you know, cool pair of shoes, something like that. I just pressed the button on the back of the microphone. What does that do? No clue. No clue? So definitely a staple piece in most good wardrobes. Gotta get some black jeans. So branching out a little bit, we have white jeans. What I'm showing right now are a pair of Levi's 502s from their made and crafted line. I'll talk a little bit more about where I got them later on in the video. These are technically an off-white, which means you gotta be a little careful wearing them with the other shades of white because they can clash there. But they do go great with whatever you feel like putting on, you know, and don't be afraid to let them be the center of your outfit because they're a really strong color, really cool. Last up, we got colorful jeans. What the hell? These are technically carpenter pants I'm showing right now from a collab between Lee and the Hundreds, but I'm just using them as an example because I don't really have any jeans and other colors like that. So bolder colors are great if you're maybe getting a little bored with jeans, looking to branch out, or if you're looking to pick up something more seasonal and like those cool fall tones or like warmer spring tones. So jeans in these sort of crazy colors are definitely something you want to keep your out for if you're looking for a more unique sort of standout piece. All right, you guys, so when it comes to any piece of clothing, the cut or fit is often the most important part. So because of that, it's crucial that you guys know your measurements. I'm um, putting up a table of measurements on the screen right now. Look at this, make sure you know your inseam and your waist, because those are super important when you're looking for a pair of jeans. On Levi's, they say on the tag in the back, you know, the, the inseam and the waist, so that's really helpful. Some other aspects to sizing that you should know are the rise, the leg opening, and the taper or the flare. So I'm going to show three models in this next part, talk about the differences between each of them. For reference, I usually wear a 30 waist and a 34 inseam, and I'm about 6 foot 3 in the morning.
And a Thursday. And a Thursday. Only Thursdays. All right. To start off, we got the slim. Whew, start off, we got the slim straight jeans. Slim means there's not a lot of extra room in any part of the jean. You know, they usually fit closer to the body. Some people say that slim jeans and skinny jeans are the same thing. I completely disagree. Skinny jeans, I think, are like those really like spray on, like tight, nasty jeans that like don't give any room for your legs. I would say avoid skinny jeans for the most part. Um, it's just not really in vogue as much right now, but obviously you guys can feel free to yeah don't get skinny jeans guys they don't look good the straight part of the name slim straight jeans comes from the fact that there isn't really any variation in the the cut of the jeans and that they're about straight all the way down as the name suggests so the pair i'm showing right now is a pair of stretch selvage slim fit jeans from uniqlo try saying that five times fast and for 50 dollars, i would definitely recommend these they're sold out online right now in most sizes, but if you do have a Uniqlo store near you, I would definitely recommend checking that out. And I think slim straight jeans are just a great pick, especially if you have longer, slimmer legs. The next model I'm going to show you guys is the 541 Athletic Taper from Levi's. So you can see that these have a little more room in the thigh and leg, and they get slimmer as you get closer to the ankle. That's called a taper. Uh, as far as the rise goes, which is the length from the bottom of the crotch to the top of the crotch, these are pretty standard. And the leg opening is actually larger than the Uniqlo jeans that I showed. But because of the thighs, it looks like they have a smaller leg opening. It's all about proportions, guys. The last pair that I want to highlight are these gray Levi 502s. These have the perfect amount of room in the thigh, in my opinion. And I love the way that they taper in just a little bit before flaring out at the bottom. This means that you can fit them around a pair of boots or sneakers without any issues. And it also keeps them from getting a little too cozy around your calves during those warmer months when you want a little bit of airflow up in there. I personally love this pair so much, and I would definitely recommend some Levi's 502 because that's why I got two of them. Since you guys have stuck around this long, I'm going to give you all the juicy de- Drew, do you think I should give them the details? Yeah. I'm going to give you guys all the juicy details on where to find your jeans no matter what you're looking for. Starting with ways to get your hands on jeans for cheap. I would say first of all try as hard as possible to get a deal on a good brand of jeans as opposed to going with something cheap from like H&M, Walmart, any fast fashion. Cheap denim just has a lot less longevity to it in that it will shrink more, fade easier, rip a lot easier, and just not hold up over time at all um, compared to a better quality pair of jeans. That being said, you know, you're trying to avoid the cheap brands, but you still need some jeans. You don't have tons of money to throw at them. Where do you go? Well, boy, do I have the uh, deal, of a lifetime. deal of a lifetime for you. So the first way to get some jeans for the deal is to check out the dis. I don't know why I said it like that. Check out the discount stores near you, right? Check out like the Ross, the Marshalls, all that. These are going to have the jeans from the name brand, stuff like Calvin Klein, you know, Levi's that could cost like three times as much elsewhere. They're gonna have these for like 20, 25 dollars. So it can be pretty hit or miss at these places sometimes, especially if you have a less common size, but it's definitely worth checking out if you're not in a hurry for a new pair or not looking for anything too specific. As far as mid-range brands I would be on the lookout for, obviously Levi's, if you haven't figured it out already, I'm definitely a Levi's fan. There's also other great mid-range brands like True Religion, Nudie, Uniqlo, Everlane, Banana Republic actually has pretty nice jeans and Carhartt although Carhartt is like kind of iffy with quality these days another great way to find jeans is gonna be through eBay I've used eBay for all sorts of stuff sneakers tech shoes that's another way of saying sneakers and it pretty much always comes through this pair of Levi's 502s actually is from eBay got these for like $70 less than what they would have been or something like that and it's kind of overwhelming like how many options you have on eBay but just like type in you know black jeans and then like 30 30 or whatever your measurements are see what comes up you'll find some stuff um and ebay is just a great source the only thing to be cautious about on ebay is make sure you're looking at the sizing the pictures measurements so you know exactly what you're getting before you buy it lastly all the brands that i mentioned earlier will frequently have sales i know levi's like pretty much always has a sale page up so go check there if you know what you're looking for as far as higher end denim goes i'm not really an expert personally i'm not balling like that but once you get into the brands like acne studios visu left field and just all those like designer brands in general you know gucci balenciaga whatnot you kind of got like unlimited options like if you got that kind of money you know what you're looking for go on grail like try to find something cool but 
Oh boy. But as far as Grail goes, people on there usually know what they have, so you're not likely to find anything special deal wise but there's definitely some awesome pieces on there lastly japanese denim has definitely made quite a name for itself in the past couple decades just through like the quality and construction of them so if you want a unique piece it's going to last you forever i would definitely look there finally some notes about quality in general when you're looking for jeans make sure they don't have too much stretch to them because that's often an indicator of cheaper materials used more like elasticine stuff like that um, make sure they got some like heft to them and good weight also keep an eye out for salvage jeans Jeans. They're made with like a stronger weave that uses more material and they're stiffer at first But they're gonna mold your body in a way that's like really personal and fits you really well If you see jeans that are marked as raw denim That just means that they have never been washed and so they haven't shrunk at all So when you wear them, they're gonna be big at first But as you wear them and wash them, they're gonna conform to your body sort of like a selvage denim would and just look really really great on you Lastly, some quick notes about keeping your jeans looking nice. Try not to wash them as often as you would other pants. Obviously, unless they get dirty, then you gotta wash them. And uh, when you do wash them, make sure you turn them inside out, don't bleach them, don't put them in the dryer, and if you can hang them up, try to hang them up for at least 24 hours just to make sure they really dry and like settle. All right, you guys, that should be just about everything you need to get into jeans this year. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite pair of jeans are and what you'd like to rock them with. Finally, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a lot. I appreciate it. Hope it helped you guys out in some way. You feel like you know some more about jeans. God bless. Don't stress. Peace out. Go. Stretch selvage slim fit jeans, 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 stretch selvage slim fit jeans. Honestly, I mean, like, that was pretty good. Are we still filming? We are. Ugh.